Howdy sketches. So today I have a review of some cheap coloring markers. I picked these up. This one I picked up at Michael's for I believe I want to say $4.99 and then I picked these up from Hobby Lobby. As you can see right here it says $11.99 and then I used a 40% off coupon and I got these at about what eight dollars does that sound right yeah that sounds close um so th these are markers that are sold um here in the u.s at a lot of places like michael's hobby lobby probably joann's carries them as well pretty much big box art stores these are always over by the coloring books and i always wanted to pick them up to see how good they are um, just because they look like, I mean, the packaging on them is pretty cute. They have, um, they, they don't have very many, like, color palettes to choose from. You've got this green and brown, so the nature pack, and then you have the floral pack, which is your pinks, and a couple of violets, and then you have your basic sets, which is the blue, red, yellow, black, and um, I think a gray color, and then there's blues. So not a whole lot to choose from, um, but I wanted to see how well these worked um, just based on the fact that they are relatively cheap. I mean, you can get five of these markers for the cost of one Copec marker. So disregard that price because I did not get it. This is a very old marker. <laughs> So um, I'm going to test them out um, and do a little piece. Let's bust this one open and see what we're dealing with here. So it shows on the back that there is a brush tip and a fine tip nib. It says professional quality. Hmm, we'll see about that. And this is put out just by Art Supplies Enterprises. Hashtag coloring. Alright, so in this one we look like we have a skin tone, a light green, a brown, a kind of like sea green color, and then a dark like Spanish olive. Alright, so let's bust these out. So here is the brown. Right. Oh no. I can already tell that these are way cheaper quality um, markers. I doubt that you can see this, but if you look at the tip, it looks like it was not cut properly. Um, I'm going to use my pencil here as a pointer. If you look here, it's cut in and then it looks like the blade when they were cutting the foam or the felt on these, it like skipped. So you've got these funky ridges, so I don't know if that's going to really um, change how these are going to look. Alright, so it doesn't bend very much at all. And the color kind of looks like poop. Yay! <laughs> so this is a poop color marker. Let's try all the rest of these markers. It's a pretty good skin tone. They actually have a really um, funny smell to them. This is uh, like a yellow green. Ooh, that's a very bright green. I would say that that's almost like a, a spectrum green. Ooh, look at that one. So look at this one. This one looks, the tip on this sucker looks really funky. Oh, you can tell that, like, the tip of it is not... You can kind of see, like, all of these little squiggles out here. But the tip on this one is jacked up. Alright. Oh, it's put out by artalternatives.com. Designed in California. Alright, so let's take a look at the other side here. This is the nib, and they're all going to be the same. They're going to be the same color. Actually, the nib's not too bad. Alright, so I am thinking 
I'm going to do an illustration with these. Um, I'm thinking mermaid, seaweed mermaid. So let's get started. Alrighty, so let's get started on taking a look at these markers. First off, I am doing a mermaid and I'm using my Art Snacks drafting pencil. It's my lucky pencil at this point. I absolutely love it. And I'm using a mixed media little sketchbook. It's one of my smaller sketchbooks. But let's talk a little bit more about these hashtag coloring markers. They are put out by Art Alternatives. It's a company that you know you can get cheaper art supplies from so not only do they have markers they have canvases sketchbooks pencils you name it they probably got it i'll put a link down in the uh, description box down below to their website now they are a cheaper alternative to brand name um products that you would find like copec and winsor newton and liquitex so um I would consider them probably pretty good for if you are just starting out or you're in high school or middle school and you don't have a ton of money to buy the really expensive stuff and you you really just want to you know test it out i would highly suggest looking at cheaper alternatives now these markers they're the hashtag coloring markers i don't know if they are the same as their illustration markers from the same company they are alcohol based, so I'm going to assume that they are probably pretty close um, to those illustration markers. But I'm just going to be reviewing the hashtag coloring markers. They come in sets of five and they have a few different sets. They have a floral set, which is your pinks and purples, the nature set, which is your green and brown, um, a blue set or the seas set, which is your blues, and then a primary set, which is red, blue, yellow, and I'm going to assume like a black and a gray. They also have neutral colors, the grays, and then they have a colorless blender. I was really surprised how well these markers actually put down color. They don't mix very well, so if you're coming from Copec markers or Winsor Newton markers kind of going down, um, the latter, you're not going to be as impressed with the mixability of these markers that you can get with Copex and Winsor Newtons. But that aside, the saturation and how bright these colors are kind of blew me away. Um, they're really nice on that aspect. Now, like I said, they are cheaper, so you are going to feel a little bit of a quality difference. I noticed that a couple of the tips on the brush tip of these markers started to fray and kind of started doing something a little funky. I was able to later kind of get them back to how they, they originally looked. So there's that little bit of a qualm that I have, but for the price, you know, honestly, I'm not really that like put off by that because you are getting some pretty decent quality markers for the price. Now, that being said, if you are already a professional or you're much higher in your, your art history um, and background, chances are you're going to probably want a little bit of a higher quality marker, especially if you have already kind of delved into that. But if you are just starting off and you don't really wanna break the bank buying Copex or Winsor Newtons or um, Spectrum Noirs. These are actually pretty decent markers. I would definitely highly suggest them to any um, younger artist who is just starting off, doesn't know really what to do with the markers. I was actually able to achieve some really nice colors with these markers. Now, if you notice, I do have another set that you kind of saw at the very beginning. It was the floral set. I didn't end up using them and I actually would love to do a giveaway. I'm thinking about doing a pretty cool giveaway at the beginning of May. Um, so if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, become a sketchy, keep a lookout. I am going to be doing a giveaway in the month of May. So keep a lookout for that. And until next time, guys, keep on sketching.